please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. And please hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Good morning. Welcome to Get Good Golf. I am an amateur golfer here in Rochester, New York. And um, I am not a pro by any means, but I'm trying to get good at this game. Welcome to the channel. We're at the end of July right now. It is currently 53 degrees. It's six o'clock in the morning. That's kind of cold for July. Um, but nonetheless, the weather's still good. There's no rain in the forecast here. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna play nine holes. I'm trying to get down to a single digit. I'm currently sitting at about a 10.6 handicap right now. I've been trending a little up actually. I was in the low like 10.1, 10.2. I'm a 10.6, I'm trying to get better, I've been practicing hard. I haven't had a chance to get out there and actually play on the course very often lately. Uh, I've been taking a lot of family trips here or there. The golf league that I play in falls on Tuesdays, which seems to fall right in the middle of the trips that we've had planned. I have another trip planned next week that I'm gonna miss my golf league as well. Uh, kind of sucks, but hey, I'm gonna get it in whatever way I can. So getting up bright and early here gonna go probably play nine holes depending on how quick the round goes maybe I'll play some more holes all right here we go so I am not a professional golfer like a lot of these golfers you see on these YouTube channels I am an amateur golfer uh, like I had mentioned before I'm about a 10.6 handicap right now and I'm trying to get down to single digits and I'm trying to stay at single digits when I get there I, I touched on it a little bit last season last year where I got down to like a 9.4 and uh, then I had a, a few bad rounds and it went back up to you know in the mid tens so I am not trying to teach anyone on YouTube or act like I'm some instructor I'm not what I'm doing is I'm showing my journey in golf and what I'm doing to try to improve my handicap and get better at the game, hence the name Get Good Golf. That, that's what I came up with because I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get good at this game. Right now, I think I'm kind of mediocre and I want to get better. So stay tuned. Let's have a lot of fun here. Okay, this is the first hole. It's a par four. Here we go. Okay, so first shot, first hole. It, it's right in the middle of the fairway. Gonna hit an eight iron. He's gonna hit like a three quarter eight. Okay, so that was a solid shot. Uh, let's go check it out. Look at this. Look at that. I only got about hmm, eight or nine feet here for Bert. Uh, let's sink it. Okay, this is a par five. It's not a short par five either. I'm gonna hit driver. is in the right rough like I thought, but I'm right around the 200 yard marker. This is a par five, so I'm definitely right. going for So I see a red flag up there. So the pin is on the front. I'm 200 to the middle. Uh, I'm probably gonna hit my 190 club here. If I'm short, it's okay. You don't wanna go long on this hole at all because there's high fescue behind the green. I'm gonna probably hit a four hybrid. Okay, that was actually a pretty good strike. Uh, pushed it a little left. Might might have the front of the green, might be a little short. It's actually on the back fringe. Looks like I did land it on the green. 
I got a ball mark I got to fix over there. But uh, here it is. It's on the back fringe, which means got to hit it well over 200, which is pretty big for my four hybrid. It's not what I usually hit it at. And it is wet out here. Got a downhill long putt. That, that looked good, that looked good. Okay, that was, a, that was a great putt. We got a really good realistic chance at birdie with And that. we have this four for birdie. And I am one under. Okay, so this next hole here is a par four and I'm gonna hit a different driver. I'm gonna hit a driver I got I bought it off eBay. It's a cheap driver. It's got like an offset to it. I don't hit it nearly as far as my old driver. Uh, it's one of those PGX Pine Meadow drivers, um, but I love the way it comes off the club face and I hit it pretty straight consistently. So um, I'm just kind of playing around with it. I might do a review on it actually. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a review on this, this driver I'm about to hit. So I didn't really see that one, but I definitely heard it. Heard it hit a tree. I do have a shot, believe it or not. I'm in jail here, but I got a space in between those trees. You can see the pin. Uh, I'm probably about 90 yards from the pin. Okay, that was a better shot. Okay, that was a good shot. I got a putt for par. Okay, that's a bogey. Uh, that putt was downhill, so I left it short. That's a big mistake. It's wet out here. Should have just hit it normal. But even par through three holes, I'll take it. Okay, so I left my GPS watch at home, and it's saying that from the whites it's 135, but I have a feeling that's further back in the tee box. Um, I'm gonna hit a nine iron here. Hope I got the right club. Club face is open a bit, so it went to the left, but I am putting, it should be on the left fringe. It's gonna be a long putt, but hey, it's playable, it's in play. All right, not bad. I, I, I wasn't on the fringe here. I'm actually on the green and I do have a long putt. I'd be happy to two putt this. It's, a, it's an uphill, looks like left to right putt. It's gonna be a tough one. All right, so that, that was good speed, um, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put it left enough from what I needed to. So now I got a little work for par. Okay, this is a little tester. I don't know, it's about four feet, four feet or so. I should make these. I've been practicing these.
Okay, that that is just frustrating. This this is a this is part of my game that I, I really I really have to start working on more. I mean, I can't miss four or five footers like that for par on the course. Um, if I'm going to want to be a single digit handicap, there's no way. This is what this is what bogey golfers do. This is not what single digit handicap players do. They don't miss putts like that. So I'm now one over. That's two bogeys in a row. Got to shake it off though, and I got to get it back on the next hole. The next hole is a par, par five. It should be reachable in two. Okay, that was a good hit. Uh, went into the left rough, but very, very, very playable. The rough isn't that bad here. Uh, I honestly was aiming left of the fairway there because there's a lot of trouble on the right. Okay, uh, I am definitely in the left rough. God, I think I'm about 250, 260 out, maybe even more. I'm just gonna hit my three wood and see how close I can get. Okay, par five, second shot, three wood. I got a, a little grass behind the ball, so it's gonna to be tough to get good contact on the ball. Just wanna keep it in play and get up there so I can get on in regulation with my third shot. rookie mistake here. So in retrospect, I probably should have took an iron to cut through that grass a little more. That I just hit grass in it. I kind of topped it a little bit, but I advanced it. It is a par five and I think I'm around the 150 marker, maybe a little bit more. I can get on a regulation still here. All right, so again, I don't have my watch, so I don't know for sure, but there's, there's a 200 marker, there's a one, 50 marker uh pacing it off here god i'm probably about 190 out looks like the pins on the front i think i'm gonna hit that hybrid again i hit it pretty far last time but this is usually the right club for me here i could hit a five iron you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit a five iron. If I come up short, it's better than being long on this hole. It looks like the pin's on the front. So I'm going to hit a five iron. Okay, that was a solid shot, but I hit it way left. Gonna gonna go hit my fourth shot. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a lob wedge here. I don't have much green to work with. There's the pin. As you can see, it's right over the hump there. And that part of the green is pretty skinny. So this is where you have to minimize the damage. I have three shots already. This is my fourth shot. I gotta get it on the green. I have to be putting here. Gonna try to hit a high one over the hump. One that will have some spin, some loft, and stop. Good shot, good solid contact. Went where I wanted it to, did not check up at all. Ball was wet. So it didn't have much spin on it, but I'm putting. Okay, this is for par.
Okay, bogeys on par fives are not fun. Uh, that's a little disappointing. So I'm two over now through five. I'm gonna break 40 here. I've been a stunt, Torin and Birdie and some holes. I mean, come on, this is, this is crazy. This is all about short game. Um, I'm not getting up and down right now. This next hole, this next hole is a par four. Pretty straightforward par four. I'm gonna hit driver. Okay, I hit it kind of solid, but it, it hooked to the right over the over the right trees. I'm in the fairway next to it, but I've been there before. Um, that's actually the bailout. It's I'm gonna have an open shot into the green from there. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I, I got a wide open shot here. Um, there's the green, there's the pin. I got no obstructions, but here's where having my golf watch with my GPS really kind of kind of helps me because there's no markers on the other, you know, the other hole to tell me how far I am. Now I can kind of figure it out a little bit. There's the hundred yard marker. I'm about even with that, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to guess that I probably have about 110 yards to the hole here. I am going to hit a gap wedge. Okay, I hit too much grass behind the ball there and I didn't make solid contact with the ball and I came up short. It was a good strike. I mean, it was right where I was aiming, but the wet conditions aren't aren't really helping me. Okay, so again, I need to, I need to use my short game here and I need to get up and down. Um, I got more green to work with on this one though. So I don't have to hit that high spinner. I can kind of land one on the green and run it up to that back pin location. Probably gonna hit a uh, 56 degree wedge. Yeah, that that's a good shot. That's a really good shot. That might even be a tap in. Um, it looks like a tap-in from here. Let's go up and check it out. Okay, so like I thought, that is definitely a, a tap-in. Um, I don't even have to put the camera down here. I could probably just one-hand it. That's a par. That's a good par save. It's about time. Kind of straight away. There's not much trouble. There's trouble left, but it's pretty far left. This is one that I should be able to take a good swing at it. Try to get it down there really good. Okay, I'm fighting the rights with my driver today, but you know what? It's fine. Um, it's open over there. I don't have a problem. And I hit it far enough where I'm gonna have a short iron into the green for sure. So let's go find it hit the next shot. So again, I don't have my GPS watch. This is killing me, but there's a 150. There's a hundred marker and here's my ball. I'm probably about, I don't know, 125, 130 yards from the pin. Uh, it's a white flag, so the pin's in the middle. I'm gonna hit a nine iron. Okay, that, that's a good shot. But again, I had some grass behind the ball and I think I might be on like the front fringe. Uh, I probably should have clubbed up one. Probably should have hit an eight iron because I didn't account for that wet grass being in front of the ball. It was a good shot though, it was right at the pin. So I'm not gonna complain too much. Okay, so here it is, I'm here in two. I'm just short. You can see the, uh, the pitch mark here, the, where it landed. Um, I could putt this. I'm probably gonna putt this because I think nine times out of 10 putting it, I'll get closer. OK, 
Okay, so this is another gimme here. Um, I don't even have to, I don't even have to put the camera down to really make this one. Okay, so that's a par. That was a two footer. I just kind of tapped it in one handed. On to the next hole. I believe the next hole is a par three. Okay, this is a par three and it says it's 180 from the whites, but you never know where they put the tee boxes compared to where that measurement normally is. I don't see any markers on the tee box at all as to, you know, a reference to pace off from. And I don't have my GPS watch and I'm filming on my phone. So I can't go onto one of those apps and figure it out. So I'm walking around, I'm looking to see if there's any kind of markers, but there's not. <laughs> A little frustrating so i think i'm gonna play this i think i'm gonna play this as 180 like i'm gonna hit an easy four hybrid so i'm pretty confident with that okay that that's a pretty acceptable shot it was a solid strike I pulled it to the right just a bit I'm gonna have a chip probably onto the green but this hole you know I, I play my league here and every time I play this hole is kind of my nemesis I, I'm never on the green in this hole for some reason I don't know why I, I don't see it well it, it, it doesn't suit my eye I always seem to have a problem I'm, I'm usually near that left tree left of the green, but at least I'm to the right here, and I have an open little chip to get up and down. Let's go find it. Okay, now this is an interesting shot. Um, I got a chip onto the green here. I gotta be quiet, because there's other golfers on the next hole. Um, there's a big swale. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but that is a big hill to the right that goes down to the left. I have a lot of green to work with. I could run one up, but then I gotta read it like a putt. Or I could kind of just try to fly it close to it and stop it. Uh, I'm probably gonna do that because I've been working on that. I wanna hit it past this swell. Hit a high little spinner in there with a with a lob wedge, 60 so degree. I'm gonna wedge. put this ball middle in my stance. I'm gonna open the club face. I'm gonna use the bounce on the club. So I don't dig into the ground. I'm gonna let it slide under the ball and pop this ball right up in the air. Made good contact, did what I wanted to do. Um, this is a new shot for me. I gotta learn it a little better. I did hit it too far, unfortunately. It landed just past the hole, to the right of the hole, and now, <laughs> I'm on the fringe, I'm not even on the green. Probably wasn't the safe shot in retrospect. I probably should have ran one up there and tried to read the green and, hey, live and learn, right? Live and learn, here we go. That's a bogey, that's a four on the par three. Mistake, mistake with my wedge, but I'm gonna learn from it. I'm gonna learn from that mistake and I'm gonna get better for next time. I think it's funny that like in a stat book, that would go down as a one putt. I don't agree with the way that's done. I think, I believe that anytime you use your putter, it should be a putt. Like on the fringe, like I just was, I mean, that was a putt, but they don't count it as a putt in the stats because I wasn't on the green. You know, that's counted as like, I guess, a chip. That is actually a one putt, which, which is crazy to me. So going to the ninth hole here, I am three over par. I, I really feel like I'm, I really feel like I'm kind of close. I'm close to getting to that single digit handicap, like range, like, you know, breaking 80 all the time. I mean, if I par this hole, I shot a 39, which is, is pretty good. That's, that, that would be breaking 80 if I, if I played 18 and I, and I shot just as well. On, on the back, I mean, I know that's, you know, that's just the way I think about it. It's not, 
we got it. Okay, last hole. I'm three over right now. The last hole is a par four. It kind of goes off to the left. I'm gonna try to hit it to about 100 yards in so that I can have a little wedge in there. Okay, that was an absolutely perfect drive. I did hit it off the heel a little bit, but it went exactly where I was aiming. I was aiming just left edge of the fairway and it is in the left rough, probably just off the fairway. Okay, so it didn't go as far as I wanted to, but I, like I said, I'm just off the fairway here in the left rough, but the rough isn't very penalizing. There's a hundred marker. Uh, I'm gonna pace this off here. Okay, I'm about, I'm about 110. I'm about 110. Now, normally that's like a gap wedge for me, but I've been making this mistake all day. Look at this. I got grass behind the ball. Um, unless I hit that ball perfectly, perfectly with that gap wedge, um, I'm gonna club up here. I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge and I'm just gonna try to get it on the green, have a birdie putt. Okay, I got over that hill. I heard a thump, so I believe it landed on the green, and I think I got a birdie putt here. Let's go check it out. All right, so I am on the green. I'm not as close as I would have liked to have been. However, I do have a birdie putt. It's a tricky left to right breaker. Let's try to make this. Okay, so that's very, very disappointing. Um, I ended up shooting a 40. I got a bogey on that hole. I can't believe that I missed that short putt. That is the second really short putt I missed of this round. If I'm gonna get to single digits, I have to make those putts. They have to become routine. I have to practice these putts over and over and over again. Uh, that's pretty horrible. I mean, it was only two and a half, three feet. I mean, yeah, there was a little, it's tricky. It wasn't straight. It looks like it's left to right but it really isn't i'm frustrated frustrated 40 i could have shot in the 30s today but uh hey i'll get them next time i'll keep practicing thanks for watching thanks for tuning in to the channel i appreciate it if you got any questions or recommendations for me or anything leave a comment below let me know hey you're doing this wrong whatever whatever you want to say whatever whatever feedback i can get from anybody is helpful um, I'm all about trying new things and trying to improve. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. And please hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything.